Hello everyone, my name is Philo. Welcome to my channel. Yes, today says a day for the beginning of the new moon. So yeah, I'm super excited. Yeah. So what is a full moon and why is a full moon important? And what are the things you need to do and things you should not do on a full moon? That is all about what I'm going to be talking in this video. All right. Welcome. Thank you very much. This uh, Hello. Yes, tomorrow is a full moon. Today is the 4th of July and tomorrow 5th is going to be the full moon. And a full moon is a time when you let go things, you release bad habits. You start, you know, you begin again afresh, all right? So here are the five main things that you should do on a full moon, all right? So number one, banish all negativity. That means people will take advantage of you. People will just took a generosity for granted. People will do not serve you at all, at all. This is the right time for you to banish those people, to cut them off completely from your life. Release baggage. Let it go. It is a new beginning. So, it doesn't matter whether it is your cousin, your brother, your sister, your friend. So long as this person is not serving you any good. This person is not adding value into your life. This person is stagnating you. This person is not an added asset in your life. He's a liability. He's not empowering you. He's not making you to be the greater version of yourself. This is the right time for you to cut off this person or this kind of people who put you into those kinds of patterns completely away from your life forever and forever all right just remember that it is your birthright to have to have what it, it is that you desire and to have a to have a material harvest and to have what it takes for you to succeed in life right so if you have people who are stepping in your path or who you feel they're not contributing to you being the best version of your person this is the right time for you to banish away all those people and let all those people go away anything any challenging relationships or relationship or patterns in your life that haven't served you to the to the good of your to to your good or to any beneficial good in your life this is the right time for you to let go number two on a full moon this is the right time for you to clean and bless your home with sage with incense to attune your your home to magical energy so that you can pull in positivity you can pull in you can attract positivity. You can pull in the energy that is going to attract or bring in the vibrations of abundance. Or the vibrations of getting you into the higher version. Number three. On a full moon, you should be, it's the right time for you to charge your crystals. If you don't know what the crystals are, crystals are something like these ones. These kinds of stones. These are crystals. I mean... Or you have people, we have other people got rings like these ones. These are made of crystals. So you, this is the right time for you to put, to check these crystals in the moon at night or in the daylight. Okay, you put in the, the you put them on the sun, you put them there and you let that heat or that heat or that sun burn through them. So in that way, it's like you're charging them. Number four, on a full moon, this is the right time for you to call in money you know i love money and i keep singing about money to call in money to to make affirm affirmations about money to create to do perform money spells this is the right time when you perform money spells on a full moon this money spell is gonna manifest i'm talking from experienced people or all the metaphysical people any People in spirituality will tell you that the right time for you, whether you believe in God, you, whatever, this is the right time for you to focus your intent, to focus your intention and call the higher universe to come in and to come in and help you to call in that abundance that you're trying to manifest in your life. And for sure, it's going to happen. 
all right for those who do not know how to do money spells then in the next video i'll be doing something how to do a money spell right using a candle okay and listen on last number five what to do on a full moon to call in love to draw romance because the universe is operating at its highest and highest highest energy and any at this time when you call in love you call in or you you call in love someone who you, you are intending to pull into your life this is the right time to to say those of my affirmations this is the right time for you to perform a spell to call in on that person or if it is a relationship that is already existing this is the right time to enhance it to cement it to perform a spell to to cement it, to strengthen it, to make it more, to function much better. All right. So those five things. Thank you very much for listening. And let's touch up in the next video where I'll be doing a money spell.